Today is the day, everybody. We are riding Guardians of the Galaxy Woo. Cosmic Rewind. Not a lot of clouds in the sky today, but if the sun wants to stay right by that cloud, I don't think any of us would have a problem that with that. so greatly appreciated. We're gonna get run over, there's a guy coming. Oh shoot. With the special occasion today of riding Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind Annual Pass Preview, it's definitely going to be a little bit packed here this Sunday, Mother's Day. Again, I don't know if I said Happy Mother's Day to my mom in this video, so Happy Mother's Day, Mom. Love you, and Happy Mother's Day to uh, all the mothers out there. It's a very fun day today. The live stream has begun. Shout out to everybody. Y'all rock. Since today is such an important and obviously historic celebration day, we're heading on over to France to have a celebratory drink, which is uh, champagne. We're gonna have some champa champagne today. JoJo's here too. Hey, howdy, hey, folks. He's gonna come <laughs> celebrate with us. What do we celebrate now? The first time we're riding Guardians, man. An iconic day indeed. It is. We're gonna remember this day in history. Taylor is a natural on live stream. She might even do a better job than I am. We just hit another milestone, 125,000 here on our channel. It's pretty great. It's pretty Congratulations. awesome. Congratulations. We did it. Next goal, 126. The champagne. Cheers to Guardians finally being open slash riding it for like the past four years of counting down. Oh yeah, that's actually delicious. Oof. All right, y'all, here we go. So they actually move a little bit quick. If you look, they actually have a sign here that tells you what time slots that they're allowing. 2.30 is us, so we can head on in for the very first time. I have been waiting for this moment for over four years now. It is a long time coming. Let's head on in. <laughs> Excited is an understatement. I'm ready to film all of this and get one of the first looks of Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. It is about time. For the very first time, we are on the other side of the wall. Today is a great moment in history, y'all. Oh my goodness. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and hit the thumbs up button. Our first look at Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. I am super hyped. Oh my goodness. We have been counting down the days and today is our day. May 27th is going to be the official opening of Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. It is going to be opening up with a uh, virtual queue. There will be no standby queue. You have to, at the opening of the park, be able to uh, get one of those lucky virtual queues. You can also buy a lightning lane, so um, those staying at a Disney resort will probably be able to purchase that before anybody else because I'm guessing they will all be sold out. But what do you guys say? Let's go on in, let's see what the whole queue has to offer and hopefully be able to get a good POV of this coaster because I heard it is pretty hard to film. We'll try our luck. I know for a fact we will do great. Let's go on in and enjoy this glorious, one of a kind first attraction ever like this. Let's go experience it. I'm so excited. Looks like the exit of the line is gonna be towards the right. Hello. Please take a picture. Yeah, of course, of course. Did you ride yet? Not yet. I'm so excited. Thanks oh. for watching. Okay. See you later. Uh, as I was saying, the gift shop is gonna be to the right. You guys can obviously come in there and probably check out the gift shop, but you're gonna need on opening day to uh, have a virtual queue. You're gonna need a boarding group. So here we go. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Gardens of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. Here's a look at the touch points. Let's actually look at one up close here. Here's what it looks like. And when they release those new magic bands, I presume when you use that, it's gonna do something pretty cool. That's coming, but we're gonna have a wait as well. I'll time how long it takes, but I'll let's go do it. Cause I have been ready for the longest time. I was uh, wondering what was gonna happen to this left space, and I assume this is what's gonna be happening on opening day as well, because you can no longer go this way through Epcot anymore. It looks like this whole space is gonna be utilized as an outside queue, because obviously there's a lot of people wanting to ride and going to be able to ride. I'll time how long this actually takes. I'm assuming it's gonna take up to an hour. The time is 1.56 now, so we'll see when we get on. 
I do uh, want to note, obviously, we're waiting in line right now without a lightning lane. So kind of uh, telling you guys how long we're going to wait isn't really going to be what you guys wait because the lightning lane is going to be flooded and obviously sold out in a matter of seconds when uh, Guardians, or sorry, when Epcot opens from here on out. Ran on into a couple of you guys. They're going to be behind me the whole queue. They've already been on, so they already know what's going on. And we're about to step on, or sorry, inside for the very first time. I'm super excited. And here we go. Wonders of Xandar. Heck yeah, baby. Ooh, it smells new. Holy cow. All right, the walls are a little bit plain. We'll see if that changes. From our world to yours. Oh my gosh. Make sure if you guys are new, please go ahead, holy cow, and hit that subscribe button and thumbs the video up. Welcome to the Guardians of the Galaxy. Woo, baby! <laughs> holy cow! All right, looks like we've got like a big queue line here. Um, I wonder if that to the right, yep, yeah, that's definitely going to be the lightning lane. I wonder what the difference is going to be from the standby to the lightning lane, but ooh, what we got going on? Greetings and welcome, Terrans, to the wonders of Xandar. Thank you. I am Worldmind, the World Mind. Zandarian supercomputer. My purpose is to preserve the knowledge and history of Xandar. Your scholar, Peter Quill, has been teaching me about your world. He has suggested that if I want to start my journey of understanding the complex and intricate Terran mind, I should look no further than the sage words of a great Terran classic, Hooked on a Feeling. Ah! Oh, hooked on a Feeling! I still do not fully comprehend. I don't believe in. Peter assured me that it's not. That show in. Okay, I'm not gonna sing. <laughs> Wow. Okay. Immersive. Immersive. Getting a Starship Cruiser vibes. We hope we may learn from each other. Now you want to ride the universe. I could stay in this room forever, honestly. The many worlds and the beings who live there. One this line is moving pretty quick so far. You when you visit the Here's a good scam. We're in a corner right now. Very blue. Your boy, oh boy. Galaxy is home to 100 to 400 billion stars. Oh, good to know. Our Andromeda galaxy has more than 1 trillion. Oh, wow. But because our galaxies were both born of the event which you Terrans refer to as the Big Bang, our stars are quite similar. 93 million miles away from the surface of your planet is the small yellow dwarf star you call Sun. Your solar system and its singular star is quite beautiful. Wow, that was cool. So I guess this is kind of like an educating room of like what's going on and I guess how dumb us humans are because that's kind of what they're telling us. They provide the inspiration for the distinctive symbol of the Nova Corps. Some very nice colors are going on. Oh, this is going to be the ADA um, route as well. By the way, um, if you guys are wondering, if you guys do have a Genie, the, the ADA system, you do need to get a boarding pass as well. May 27th, you need to get one. Your uh, Genie will not work. You need to get a uh, pass. That's cool. Wow. From space, you can see Sweet. Powerful uh, whirlpools, which we harness for energy. Observe our many atolls, what you call coral reefs, which grace our coastline. Colorful algae bloom in our waters and provide sustainable farming while also giving Xandar a beautiful shimmering iridescence. Here's a good look at the room. Like Terra, Xandar has an atmosphere that sustains life. 
The blanket of gases not only contains the air we breathe. What is your guys' first thoughts? Comment down below right now. So there is where we just were, obviously. And now it looks like we're gonna be going up. I also heard there is a little bit of a tribute to Walt Disney in here. We'll see if we can find that. Oh! If you have just joined us, greetings, Terrans. I am Worldmind, the Zandarian Session Supercomputer. Time to go up. I like how we go from that to just like walls and cool lights. I wish they would have put something on the side of this. It's just me being a little bit picky, obviously, you know, with the technology that they have in the planet of Xandar. Let me just tell you guys, I mean, obviously when you experience an attraction for the first time, there is nothing like this. I'm on uh, cloud nine right now. This is obviously amazing, and you guys are gonna be able to experience it soon too. The hype is real. We love when there's new attractions at Disney World. It brings out that inner energy, the extra energy that we already have, but we also really need when we come to Disney World. To have this attraction is Photo Pass. This is Photo Pass, but you never see Photo Pass like this in a cube. It's just something on the wall, so very futuristic. This is what it scans to. That was interactive. That was actually like glowing for a little bit. Launching May 27th. So nothing live yet, but you see how that's like interacting on top? We're coming on up to like the tribute of Walt Disney. He's actually in this queue on one of the screens. I'll show you guys where that is. I'm actually gonna stay there until I see him, but I actually just saw him. Your chance to see Walt on the screen is when you, once you come up the stairs, he's on the right hand screen right here. So that was pretty cool. Looks like we're gonna be going through kind of like an exhibit. Sort of kind of feels, I don't know, like Guardians of the Galaxy over at Disneyland but it's definitely not an exhibit like they have over there. <laughs> Transportation networks and more. All designed to provide our citizens with a better way of life. Holy cow! There's a very, very cool little model of Xandar. This is amazing. It's a miniature model, obviously, but holy camoly, I wonder how long it took to build this thing. One day, we'd love to feature some specimens from your planet Terra. Our advanced building materials allow Xandar to boast some of the most remarkable structures in the universe, creating an impressive urban skyline. Over the course of our year, oh Xandar experiences periods of total sunlight shifting to periods of total darkness. During the light cycle, triple suns can appear close together in the sky, creating spectacular sunsets. Device. I'm just happy that we call it uh, Walt. We couldn't really hear what they are saying, but at least you guys know it's look out for Walt Disney in the queue. This is basically like a museum and learning about Xandar you might discover that its wings can flare out and form a star shape, resembling the Nova Corps logo. I've got a feeling that we're almost there. to get to go back and ride Horizons. Yeah, Peter! Dinosaurs, and of course, here the veggie veggie fruit. Yeah, Peter Quill. We're almost there, everybody. Let's go! I'm so excited. All right, so that's what we just watched. I think we're getting into the the pre-show. Oh boy. Never survived the battle. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We have four. Ooh. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. The hype is real. What is this? Oh, 
obviously, if you don't want to see any of this, click off the video. This is going to be a spoiler. Ooh, it smells new. It smells like a new house. Greetings, Terrans. I am Nova Prime Irani Rayan, commander of the Nova Corps. On behalf of all Xandarians, I hope you have enjoyed exploring the wonders of Xandar. As you have seen, your world and ours were born of the same moment one which you refer to as the Big Bang. As such, we are all galactic neighbors in a vast universe which we and countless others share. For you to travel to Xandar would take two and a half million years, assuming you had a ship that could fly at the speed of light. So we decided to come to you. But even we could not have reached you so easily were it not for the Cosmic Generator, an advanced piece of Xandarian technology that creates jump points, artificial tunnels that act as shortcuts, linking distant points in space. It is our desire to share this wondrous technology with your people so that together we might explore new worlds and create a brighter tomorrow. And now, yeah, as the culmination of the wonders of Xandar, you will be teleporting to a Nova ship above your planet okay. for a demonstration of the Cosmic Generator. All right. I trust you will find it an unforgettable experience. Sounds like it. Cosmic Generator. Welcome, people of Epcot. <laughs> yeah. Epcotters. Epcotians. Citizens of Epcot. Does anyone know what they call themselves? Humans. What? Humans. Oh, you're on, yeah. Someone needs to tell me what I'm on. <laughs> Old Spice. Welcome, Epcot Terrans. I am Centurion Tau Merrick, and we're just about ready to teleport you up to the ship for the demonstration. As you're about to enter a secure Nova area, I must ask you to put away your Terran communication devices at this time. Recording of any type is strictly prohibited. Hmm. I am very serious about this. <laughs> now, please step forward into the chamber. Let's do it, baby. I love this. I think so. We're going up to space, baby. Oh. Let's see the circle. Baby. Okay, before we begin, I should warn you that we have never teleported Terrans before. Oh. You made it! I mean, of course you did. <laughs> no crime? Get ready. Oh What's my happening? gosh. I'm not sure. Our power's out. And the cosmic generator is gone. Cheerio, Mark. Go to Code Red. Prepare the fleet. I don't like this. The Please. <laughs> we need help. There is no cause for alarm. <laughs> Turn off that alarm. <laughs> I've got an important transmission coming in. Hey, what's Woo! going for? Our cosmic generator has been stolen. What? How? What did we think of that? That thing's got to be worth a fortune. <laughs> I am Groot. Yeah, Groot. Uh, what do you think? Uh, Perhaps a really big man inside your ship. That is a big man. Oh. Oh, no. I need to alert Nova Prime. Are you been watching Terrans for the dogs? That's not crazy at all. This species has failed. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. we didn't even know there was a test. He's got the cosmic generator. He's creating a new jump point. Jump point to where? Not where. When? So good of you. Jump point. He's going back to the dawn of time. Dawn of time, why? To erase the error. Well, that doesn't sound good. Terrence onto evacuation shows. I got it. 
I reprogrammed the shuttles to follow him through the jump board. Yeah, rocket. Uh, they're our only chance of keeping track of that whack job until we get the cosmic generator back. <laughs> I'm so Piece of cake. What? <laughs> There's cake. There's the cake. The answer is possible. Yep. But it's our only shot. Good luck. Are you sure? Oh you my god. Talk? Come on, it's me. We got this. We're all toast. First it was cake, now there is toast. This plan is making me so hungry. Oh my god. Woo! Listen up. Let's go, baby. You need to make your way to the evacuation shuttles now. Oh my we'll gosh. The fleet if we get our power this back. is I mean, so immersive. We get our power back. We're getting close to maybe the best ride at Epcot, best queue at Epcot. That was so cool. What? Wow, this place is huge. You need to tell me what I want. That was cool. Are you still there? Yeah, you did. Everything is under control. We're rebooting. Yo, there it is. There's the ride. Ah! I'm freaking out. Oh my goodness. Holy cow. We have made it four years later. There it is, y'all. Oh my gosh, I'm nervous. I don't know what to expect. Woo! Let's do this, y'all. I am so excited. Oh my goodness. Ah! Take it in, everybody. One of a kind coaster. Here we go. Everyone's going so quick. I just want to stroll so slow. Oh my goodness. I, I feel like I haven't stopped smiling this whole time, rightfully so. This is going to be the best experience of my life. Maybe even better than a cruise. I don't know. Did I just say it? I think I did. Definitely overfilmed, but I'm technically documenting this for me as well. The excitement is real. We are. Can I? Yeah. Can I sit in the front front, like one of those ones? Like the yeah, 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 okay. We're boarding. We are boarding. We are boarding. We. It looks like there's about ten different stations. It kind of looks like. In a way, Velocicoaster-ish, like the lap bar. I've looked at no spoilers. No nothing. Our ride vehicle has arrived. Pull down. Oh my goodness. The moment has arrived. Your vehicles. We'll be right behind you. Come on up. Yeah. Oh my god. Woo! Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. The soundtrack. Oh Whoa, this is trippy. No one's gonna stop rock and roll from existing. What have we done? What have we done? I think we're just back. Oh gosh. Oh!
Chad. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah! Oh my god, what the heck? This is amazing! What? It's a moon! Whoa! Unbelievable! They deserve to be called heroes, but do you see how they dress? It's just a figure. I can't, I can't, I can't believe it. I, I was smiling the whole time. I got goosebumps the whole time. What a ride! I want to go again. Can I go again, please, please? Woo! Woo! I love my life. This is definitely gonna be worth the lightning lane. If you can get it, you lucked out because unbelievable. Wow. Guys, did I sound like an idiot that whole time just screaming? Oh my god. Okay, I can, um, first thoughts, I can see how you can get motion sickness uh, with riding this mate twice in a row. So, um, that is definitely a factor. This is obviously unload. That was honestly amazing, and I feel just like I haven't stopped smiling. It's obviously one of a kind. It is literally a combination of rock and roller coaster, Space Mountain, every ride to be existence like obviously it's a kind of like a screen ride as well it's a roller coaster screen ride it's unbelievable obviously a ride pov is going to do no justice to this the only thing you guys can really go off of is my reaction at the end of this ride probably one of the best rides i've ever been on my life it's seriously one of a kind you have to go on it to experience it there's like wind coming every direction it's it's amazing i feel like the only thing they could do better is you can make it smell somewhat kind of cool but uh, it's seriously everything that I wanted and it's been a great four years wait. That is for sure. I want to go again, but I can't. We'll be here opening day for sure though. <laughs> Do you see that? It's so fun, right? I want to go back to space. That's the closest I'll pr probably ever be to going to space. What an experience. I feel like I'm shaking just with how happy I am. Um, now we're gonna be able to check out the gift shop. That's cool. It doesn't end there. Does not end there. What a journey. I don't even know how long I waited. I don't even care how long I waited, to be honest. I would wait five hours for that. Definitely a hard ride to film at that, but I honestly wasn't really even paying attention to the film because I was soaking it in for the first time, as you guys probably would expect. Um, oh, interesting enough, the gift shop actually isn't open for us. What a bummer. I guess we'll have to come uh, back May 27th to check out that. Um, interesting, the gift shop's actually not even at the end of the queue. You have to go outside, outside to go on in. <sighs> to kind of summarize this whole experience up, I mean, there's a lot of videos of it on YouTube, but it's simply, simply amazing. And I can't wait to come back and ride on it. It's worth every penny, worth every single penny. I would pay $100 to go on this again. It's seriously so amazing. What a, what a job, job well done by Disney. And May 27th is going to be a great day. And if you guys have annual pass holder previews, you're going to love it. I think you can ride twice technically. I'm not going to, but yeah, what a rush. See you guys. See you later. Thanks for riding with me. Bye. That was super nice. Uh, but look at the line now. Holy camoli. Best ride at Disney World, hands down. I'm going to miss you. All I can say is you're going to love this ride when you go on Wednesday. Hopefully it's seriously it one of the best gross. rides here at Walt Disney World. I don't know. It's the best coaster for sure. I just can't stop thinking about <laughs> riding that thing again. It's insane. Absolutely insane. You guys are going to love it. POV was probably just okay. It's something you kind of have to experience and you just feel the excitement afterwards. It's it's just it's just mind boggling. Mm -hmm. Kyle words. It's holy camoli. It's oh my goodness. <laughs> Can't wait to go back on opening day. It's insane. Hopefully we get a pass on opening day. But for real, I, I, I can't wait for you guys to experience it. And it's just something else. Video does it no justice because there's so much emotions going on. So much obviously feeling like you're, you're on a coaster and it's like you're in freaking space. That's great. Jeez. See you guys tomorrow. How was it for your daily dose? Tomorrow was uh, supposed to be today's video, but whatever. It's yesterday's, today's whatever. Yesterday. Yeah, 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 enjoy. See you guys. <laughs> Perfect.
all the way from Canada. You guys want to say anything for the vlog? 